Indeed, you've got till halftime of Tampa Philly, which starts at 6 p.m. tonight to go ahead and do so. In the meantime, we'll get clear that will be confirmed. Lake City, Lake Effect Furies, Lee German, that is going to be number 62, Librarian. And Librarian comes around. Nice strategy. She cuts the angles using as fast as she can to get around. The idea, get in there and engage the pack. Can't get through the pack. You don't get any points. That's how you get it through. Takes a big five in the sky. Five point grand slam for Librarian. And finally, 0 3 for Ithaca Cold War gets through on her initial pass. Queen City taking the three wall up front. Ithaca holding the three wall mid pack number 56. Trying to break up the lane for Librarian. Who gets through? Calls it off and will get awarded four on the pass. Oh, no, I think. Yep, that's one of the pass, I stand corrected. There you go. Coming on through the pack. So far, score update. Queen City Rollers, 18. Ithaca sitting at 4, 26-34 on the clock. Still in the first period here of the, what is this, the third bout of the day? Our third bout today. Just a reminder, if you're in the venue and you're staying at the host hotel, if you want to go to our after party tonight at level 3, for a measly little $5, you can get a shuttle from the host hotel to level three for our after party at the conclusion of today's festivities. Well Showtime. worth hey, it's well worth the money and it keeps you away from getting a DUI. So just go and take advantage of that. Just saying. All right, whistle blows, jam begins. Oh, stretching out. Who's gonna take it? That's gonna be number 55 for Ithaca Gunter and Lightning. We'll get the lead jammer call. It'll be number 82 for Queen City, who is of course Tuesday Hula. Gunder moves to engage two all up front. Can't quite get around Day Tripper and the other blocker calls it off. All right, Vince, is it my is it my imagination or is this jam faster? Or is this actual whole bout faster than some of the previous ones? I'm loving what we're seeing. We're seeing a very fast paced pack. Not a lot of the passive offense. Just keep on going. What they uh, the polite version of what they call in some circles, forget you, get past me, Derby. There you go. It looks like Abercrombie and Pitch coming in with the black and two. And 7 11 Cam Arrow with the star for Ithaca. There you go. She got those skeleton pants going on, so it'll be easy to pick her out in the crowd. It's wild. There's almost a play off the old Duke City Derby Munich's worth us. They have the shirts with the skeletons, they got the skeleton pants, and we've got 7 11 Cam Arrow, Lee Jammer Ithaca. There she goes. Come out. She likes to be in that position. She likes to be, but we got some fast moving. Looks like a multiplayer block is. Is that a multiplayer? Hello. Looks like the Jammer in. We're seeing a lot more, particularly with some of the whips, with the way the multiplayer block rules are being interpreted, that if somebody physically challenges the area where there's a joiner, yes, even the jammers can get called for the multiplayer block. Power Jam Ithaca for Cam Arrow should get the grand slam on that pass. All right, looks like we got a 5-3 uh, five, five, advantage right now going in. Looks like a push to the front as the Power Jam continues. That's number 54 for Queen City. That's head huntress. Trying to do a good job, but goes out of play. Has to let her on by, go to the box. Ultra Jam for Ithaca, Grand Slam for Camaro. All right, I'm seeing a lot of black and teal sitting in the box right now. This is not where you're supposed to be. Occupy the track. Five point Grand Slam coming around, Camaro. We've already got to figure out, as long as we're talking about we're not supposed to be showtime, we've got two teams from upstate New York. Of course, it can only happen in Tampa, Florida. Of right? course, sure, that makes complete sense. Now, a nice observation on that. Someone said, hey, why are these teams that are so close together playing them s each other down here? Well, it's no difference in the Tallahassee Jacksonville. Just because they're playing each other up north doesn't mean they can't play down here and different venue. It's, it's a neutral venue, something that both teams get out there, different floor, and a different type of crowd. Plus, they get a chance to play all these other leagues that they've had a chance to play over this weekend. A great weekend here at Frankie Panky. And I've even seen some of the fans been able to travel down here. I did have a chance last night. And even this morning at breakfast to meet some of the Queen City fans from Buffalo. Great to see them making all this travel to support their team. And we've got a lead jammer showtime. Oh, indeed we do. Coming around here with the number 03. That's going to be Cold War. Her name has a whole new meaning when you realize she's actually from the Ukraine. And in the meantime, number 99, Abercrombie and Fist done with her penalty, done with her initial pass as Cold War engages the forefront. Sees number 711, Day Tripper coming in for the block. Calls it off. We'll still manage to get two points if I see our jam left correctly. That right, looks like 622 coming in in your little shades of blue and black. That's going to be the librarian. I'll get it right eventually. And of course, say. Yeah, sometimes you got to untangle the tongue. And Gunder and Lightning coming in 55 
wearing the white with black and the skeleton pants. And it'll start off as a 4-3 pack advantage for the Ithaca Suffragettes in all the white jerseys. All right, hard push, low ball. Oh, pff, there she goes again. Low ball in, comes around, takes the lead jammer. 240 spinning around to the back. Possibly setting up for a salt crush penalty, knocking somebody out of bounds, was working around. And I think she was trying to do that on the opposing pivot for Ithaca. That'd be number 46, who Christeria. is Christeria. Christeria, indeed. I guess time between Philly against Tallahassee yesterday and against Jacksonville earlier, and now with Ithaca, or Ithaca and Queen City, we're seeing a lot more of that, more so than we've seen this weekend than we've probably seen all throughout our years calling for the Derby. Indeed. In fast moving packs, a lot of action all the way through on this. It's just incredible to see this is a pure sport involved in this thing that we all love so dearly. Chandler sets number 29, ha ha hatchet up against number 10 for Queen City, Ruby Revenge. Number 56 on the outside lane, the General Warrior trying to slow down. In the meantime, Ruby Revenge splits the uprights with the call. Lead Chandler Queen City. All right, nice straightaway block up. Five points in the sky comes in. Number 10, Vince. Gotta love this Queen City Lake Effect Fury defense just smothering. Number 29, Ha Ha Hatchet. Not yet double. And just as I say, finally double the initial pass. We've got to skate it down and turn number three. The EMT's coming over. That's going to be number 56, uh, Vagena Warrior. Vagena Warrior down. Number 99, Abercrombie and Fist. All right, like breaking through the pack. Vince, go ahead. In the meantime, both jammers in scoring position. 99, Abercrombie and Fist for the Lake Effect Furies with the lead jammer call. And we've got a runaway pack coming around turns one and two. Two all up front for number 99 to get around as Cam Arrow and Ovarian Sister. Uh, looks like you're getting ready to set up again for another jam. Score currently sitting still 29-29 on the board. 20.02 on the clock. Number 29, Ha Ha Hatchet with the star for Ithaca and 622 Librarian for Queen City. All right, the whistle blows. Librarian take a nice inside path. Looks like she made her way to the front. In the meantime, Queen City doing a three wall at the back, smothering Ha Ha Hatchet, now rotating to a two wall up front. That's going to be 916 Miliana Kazanovich holding the line. Vince, did I just hear him say giddy up, giddy up, giddy up? Oh, we've definitely got a lot of giddy up going on with this stuff. Jammer on jammer race. Uh, jammer for Ithaca gets up front. So that'll be Librarian calling it off. And a th four point Queen City lead. All right, looks like Gunder and Lightning coming in. And. <laughs> number 711, Day Tripper on the track. Looks like we're going to have ourselves a fun little jam setting up. The stereo going on. Looks like Chemical Assault's ready to go into the jamming for the uh, the jam ref. She's just, you see how, how energetic she is right there? <laughs> She's ready for it. And got to give credit to the Suffragettes of Ithaca. Going into this bout, third bout of the weekend, they're only skating with 11 on the roster showtime. And with almost half the first period gone, they're only four points down. So definitely well into this one. Yeah, they're, they're keeping a really close bow, which makes it really fun to be here in the audience. Oh, nice duck and dodge sending. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. 7-Eleven did a nice duck and dodge all the way to the front, maintaining that lead jammer status. Slides on in. Now she gets ready to play a little bit. Meanwhile, the opposite jammer comes through the pack. 7-Eleven day tripper gets the lead jammer call. Ducks around the blocker for Ithaca. 7-Eleven cam out. Who would have thunk it? There you go. Ring-a-ding-ding. Score update, Queen City 37, Ithaca 29. Yeah, this is, clear, this is clearly the nickel and dime part of the strategy. Each team waiting for the other team to blank, get the jammer penalty, and then make their move. Certainly not a bad strategy with the way the score's going early on. All right, looks like Cold War going up against Gabacrabi and Fist. Nice setup on both teams. Currently, Sinbin, or the uh, all-in Sinbin looks almost clear, minus 
one skater. 4-3 pack advantage for Queen City and in the inside straightaway, number 99, Abercrombie and Fisk gets the lead jammer call. All right. Big block by number 54. That will be Headhunters doing what she does like her name and now recycling that up front. All right, just nice cut to the front, spin out, nice grand slam added in. Going for number 99. Abercrombie and Fish, she likes that. She likes that number five. She says, I'll take it often if you don't mind. <laughs> Finally, Cold War done with the initial pass through the pack. Runaway pack coming around turns number one and two. Three white jerseys to get around. And Abercrombie not even wasting any time. Not only calling it off, but saying to her jam ref, calling it, calling it, calling it. Making sure there's no ambiguity on that call whatsoever. Yeah, you know, just in case you weren't quite sure. It'll be 7 11. Cam Arrow with the star, but on the outside lane, Queen City. Gets the lead jammer call, 622 Librarian. Oh, and the action just right there, turn two, just right into the straightaway. Pack trying to slow up, set up some defense. Librarian says no, I think not. Till she gets knocked all the way out, calling off the jam. Mind, she was on her back while doing it, sliding out almost head first into suicide seating. Well, I love that teamwork block that we have between 29 Ha Ha Hatchet and number five, Momo Agogo with Ithaca, just like they drew it out in practice. So basically set up with a jab and then come around with a cross to clear the jammer out and force the call. Well, the set, it'll be number 240 for Queen City. Ivana Layer out up against 55, Gunder and Lightning for Ithaca. And Ithaca defense on the outside lane forces a track cut on Queen City, power jam, suffragettes, and guns are in lightning. <laughs> oh, Gunder and lightning trying to fix that one-two punch. Nice. There goes that 180 again. 180 in a quick sprint takes her to the front. Oh, but apparently she must have stepped inside because there was a track cut somewhere. It was a nice 180, but apparently just enough to go over that inside center boundary. So once butt hits seat, It'll turn around Queen City Power Jam for number 240, Ivana Layer out. Okay, well, jam, there's a word that they're saying called jammer. They'll figure it out eventually. We'll stand here and watch them stand there and get slightly sort of frustrated. And the officials will go to an official I'm, timeout. I, I'm about to use a Vince hannity -ism. Ready? Wait for it. Wait for <laughs> it. Official timeout. A little bit of, um, I think frustration is probably the safest word to say for that one. The, I, and I don't know if there was more from the teams or the fans because they saw the jammer go in and they were waiting and they were waiting and they were waiting and suddenly nobody came out. Well, credit to 240, Ivana Layer out, did exactly what she was supposed to do at that point. She saw the opposing jammer coming in, sitting down, but quite correctly didn't want to risk drawing a penalty for illegal procedure leaving too early, so waits for her NSO penalty tracker signals to say, hey, you're done with your penalty, go ahead. Didn't get that signal, so quite correctly said, wait, 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 I'm not excused, I'm not given permission to go, don't want to draw that additional penalty, and I forced myself to sit again for another minute in the box. So I'll, I'll give her credit. That was a smart heads-up play, well-reasoned on her part. Oh, absolutely. And while we have this official timeout, and um, again, zebra, zebra huddle up there, we're doing a little bit of track mains over in the, in the straightaway, right beyond Cristeria and Ovarian. Let's see, lining up. They're doing a nice safety check as they go around. I think we need to get Jubilee out there though, to do some dancing again. Ask and you shall receive. Oh wow, Jubilee comes out. Oh, he's no, I think he's a, he's actually serious now. I didn't know he knew how to do that. Who are you, shapeshifter, and what have you done with Jewie? 
Also a reminder, if you're here in the venue, you're el still eligible for voting for MVP blocker and MVP jammer for the tournament. Go over to the Tampa Roller Derby merchandise table up front. You've got till halftime of Tampa Philly tonight to put in your votes. Winners will get a bar tab at our after party at level three tonight. Also, speaking of the after party, if you're here in the venue, if you're here in the venue, go ahead. If you're at the host hotel, it will cost you five bucks to get a shuttle ride from the host hotel to level three for our after party. Five bucks for the shuttle ride versus 5,000 for a DUI. Plus the cost of a good attorney. Well, yeah. And I could recommend at least one or two. I would have no idea who you might recommend, sir. <coughs> Tremarco, Tremarco. All right, big shout out to all the fans out on Derby News Network. We have heard you on DNN. Your calls have not gone unanswered. We are doing our best. Thank you. That's right. We're trying to adjust Vince's mic just a little bit. Rita, you never know. You might be a great announcer if you're watching out there on Derby News Network. And we're just doing some level sound checks while we continue our official timeout to make sure that everything works out. Hi, Hi Lacine. How are you doing? Gary, do I still need to keep talking here at this point? Our executive producer, or our co-executive producer, Gary Dazan, wants me to keep talking to make sure that we get levels. You know, he's no Tuami Cena, but he does a pretty good job with what he's doing at this point. And we're still kind of surprised about what we got with the length of the official timeout showtime. We may have to see if we can get one of our announcer ref NSOs over here to confirm the full purpose on that. Head ref confirming with both captains and bench coaches for the Suffragettes and the Lake Effect Furies. And I think we've got, I think we've got somebody coming over to give us an explanation at this point. Thank you, announcer ref NSO. Oh, thy lacing, I have ways, I have sources. All right, so quick, all right, so a quick update about what happened. Apparently, the black jammer hit the box on the way in, so she got a misconduct. So she got oh. an extra penalty on top of it. So what's going to happen is she's going to—they're going to come out of the box, and then she's going to go in and serve her other 60-second penalty. So it happens. Which also I think explains why she was remaining in the box when the first jammer for Ithaca came in while she was in there, realizing, hey, I've got one more minute because I got tagged for two for the misconduct. Right, and it, because we can't see all the hand signals and everything from here, especially the, the communication back between the uh, all-in send bin and the center of the pack, we can't see everything from here. That's okay. Maybe those guys out on DNN should get us an extra camera out there. Get them focused right in there so you can see just the face of the all-in send bin and the skater. No, that might be a bad thing for those that can read lips. I, I, I would say we call it the, the Memorial Bay Area Derby Girls all in Sinbin camera only for what happened with that Bay Area Derby Rose City bout earlier this year where one of the skaters, I believe it was Amanda Ryan, actually got a gross misconduct and an ejection for coming in a little too hot into the penalty box. Very controversial at the time, even though Bay Area Derby went on to win that bout. All right, looks like the uh, zebra huddle is still continuing. Got some skaters lining up there. Number 99, Abercrombie and Fist lining up. Looks like she's ready to jam 7-Eleven Day Tripper out there. Somebody on DNN wanted to shout out that they love them some Day Tripper. Abercrombie and Fist, oh, yeah, they. if you love Day Tripper and you're out there on Derby News Network, you should let us know right now because we can see that feed in almost instantaneously. So if you love the Day Tripper, if you love yourself some Lake Effect Furies, if you know Bob Howard, who's one of the newest people out there, and his his lovely wife, give us a big shout out. We would definitely, definitely love you, to hear Pat. from you. And of course, Fist, even though she is teammates and friends with 7-Eleven Day Tripper, quite correctly knows that you can only grab on for less than three seconds, otherwise get that forearm or illegal use of hands penalty showtime. Hey, you know what? Those illegal use of hands are a bad thing in Derby. 
Next thing you know, you've got a multiplayer block going on. You know, it, it happens. And then you end up with a gross misconduct. So. And then eventually, out you go. You're enjoying the melodious, silky smooth sounds of a Florida announcing mafia here at day two of Frankie Panky with the Ithaca League of Women Rollers Suffragettes up against Buff Queen City Roller Girls, Lake Effect Furies. I'm Vin Tannity. This is Showtime with me. And coming up behind us, yes. I was going to see if you guys needed a pitcher of water and some stuff. Oh, we. <laughs> Danger Man coming in, looking dapper, says, hey, I want to make sure that we were squared away up here. You know, announcers have a Announcers have needs too, but unfortunately on the mic they consist of throat drops, honey, ice water, massages, and peanut butter, yes. Why, why Whipped peanut butter. Why, why peanut butter? I don't get the peanut butter thing. Very calorie dense? That'd be my guess. But I would think it would very also much jam oh, up the pipes. I could see those gears turning. No, you could not see the gears turning. <laughs> well, you, you can't see it on the DNN feed, but if you're up here on the announcer's table, you oh, you can so see it turning. And you will showtime, learn, young Padawan, you will learn. Showtime, we may be in Temple Terrace, Hillsborough County, Florida, but thanks to DJ Ito, we've just made a detour downtown to Bad Street, Atlanta, GA. That's right. Oh, by the way, you're welcome that you did not have to listen to 45 hours of Aerosmith this year. <laughs> that was last year. That, that, that's kind of an inside joke if you were at Frankie Panky last If you were year. here last year, somebody borrowed my iPod, and they didn't exactly know how to use it, so they went artist. Hello. That's two, three. Hello. I'm dead. My bass is behind me. That's two, three. That means like storming. Oh, okay. Try it now. I'm hearing nothing now. Hello, two, three. Welcome back to the track. Hey, what is this? Are they occupying the pivot line? I, I, it, 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 I, I feel like it's 2009 all over again. Yes. And. All right, the whistle blows. The jam continues. Again, now we got the white jammer coming out of the box. The other will serve a full 60 seconds of her previous penalty. And that's going to call 7-11 Day Tripper of Queen City for a destruction of the pack penalty as Gunder and Lightning done with her penalty. Number 55 for Ithaca. Number 60 up front. Recycle 622 Librarian and Kent Alder. Lead jammer, Suffragettes. All right, nice slide around. Looks like a nice tight pack right now. A lot of black and teal sitting in the box. This does not make me happy, and I guarantee it doesn't, because right now they want points. We're looking at a 49-29 score separation, 13-20 on the clock. Looks like Gunder and Lightning took a hard hit to the inside, circled back to the back, and back in engaging the pack, gets past team 622. Librolian. Was her last defense to get through. She made it through with a nice smooth blast. Just like, I'm, I'm very impressed by the Lake Effect Fury 622 light brawling all over the track. Now pivot, now with a star pass over Virgil Jammer roll, like she's done so many times so far with the bout. All four blockers for Ithaca up front, no pack, so they've got to let her on by. Oh, Gunder and Lightning takes a nice outside pass, gets past and slides on in. Here's four times whistles. Ithaca Suffragettes add a few more points to the board. Looks like we're up 39 Ithaca. Make that 40 Ithaca. Queen City 49. We have a nine-point separation between the two teams. Coming up to the line, looks like 03. That's going to be Cold War. Number 99. Is that Abercrombie and Fist? That is indeed, sir. That looks like Tuesday Hula on the inside. I'm sorry, not quite the inside. There's one between us there. Couldn't say, quite see him. Number 54. 54, that's Head Huntress. Easy to pick out. She's a very tall skater on the track. Number 37 for Ithaca. Trying to hold that inside lane. Valerie Valkyrie. Oh, nice stretch out. Got a 99 Abercrombie and Fist lead jam. And that 916 for Queen City up front. Meliana Kosanovic. Can't quite get the angle. Has to let 03 Cold War on by as Fisk goes to engage three, possibly two white jerseys to beat. It's a push. It's a rust. It's a chase. Looks like she got there. Made it through. Looks like she got the points. Got five points added in. But not Abercrombie enough time. Ithaca will get one point courtesy of Cold War. You know what? They're chipping away at it one spot at a time. A 
Wilmer set to number 711, uh, Day Tripper for Queen City, and number 29, Ha Ha Hatchet for Ithaca. All right, whistle blows. Who's going to get to the front? Oh, we got a nice fight. Looks like some openings coming up in there. Ha Ha Hatchet slides through, wipes out. Apparently did not clear the front of the pack. Has to go all the way to the back of the pack. And courtesy of 240, Ivana lay her out, going back with that pop and stop. Buys enough time for Day Tripper to get through, get that lead jammer call for Queen City. Oh, yes. Ha Ha Hatchet finally clearing the pack. Now maybe she can put some points on the board. Outside in, one white jersey to the beat, calls it off. See, it's tough when you're trying to conserve your voice and Ito turns off Scorpion circa 1984. It does looks like Librarian coming up against White 55, Gunder and Lightning. Five second warning has been given. Looking for the opening cut through the pack. Oh, nice stretch out, 622 Librarian. Oh, they'll call her for a four on penalty. Oh. So power jam, Lee Jammer call goes to Gunder and Lightning for Ithaca. All right, this is an opening that Ithaca is looking for. Power jam situation, 18 points separates the two. Can she get through? Little assist sliding through. Yeah, that's courtesy of number 37, Valerie Valkyrie, but defense by number 54, Headhunters forces the re-entry at the back. Now, that was interesting. She went actually farther back than she needed to. Uh, she Headhunters was back in basically in the front of 1337, and yet she has swung all the way back. I guess she wanted to do the safe than sorry aspect of it. And even though Headhunter just had to let her on by, what I do like what she did with that scoring pass, she made sure she got the jammer all the way to the line. The biggest issue that you see with defending some of these passive offense jams is that you never quite get the momentum to get that jammer all the way to the track boundary. All right, Mama Dusa did a nice setup right before the impact to the, the front line of defense. She came in and hit hard. Another skater came in right behind pushed it opening to get so she at least climbed that point, maybe getting one or two points just from that Mamadusa impact. Jam will get called. That'll put Ithaca at 48. Queen City holds at 58. We'll start in power jam formation. Those are going to hand it off to 03 Cold War. Live Raleigh and number 622 for Queen City still in the box. Oh, it's a cold one out there. It's a nice Cold War going on right now as Cold War 03 comes in on the white. Two all up front now going vertical on that one, running the tractor trailer block, courtesy of Ivana Layer out number 60 for Queen City, who is, of course, Pepper Sticks. And Librolian done with her penalty out of the darkness into the light. Lead jammer you to Yuri's. That was what, three times, almost four times around before she actually got through and somebody got through and became the actual lead jammer. It was just go, 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 fight the pack, fight the pack, and eventually, boom, you get through. And speaking of go, 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 this pack is go, go, going around turns one and two, and Librarian calls it partway, doesn't quite get past the hips, but keeps Ithaca scoreless. All right, it sounds like it was going, going, going to the whistle at this point. All right, 99, Abercrombie and Fist signing up. Looks like Ha Ha Hatchet coming in. Going to be doing a little bit of jamming action right now for Ithaca. Ithaca, Ithaca Suffragettes. Five second warning has been given. And they're off. Yeah, and Ha Ha Hatchet will get the lead jammer call. Kind of interesting. It looked like at that rear line, Queen City was setting up to possibly let their jammer come up through the middle, split the scrum start, and I think Ha Ha Hatchet might have seen it coming, was able to find the open and get through, get that all-important lead jammer call as she moves to engage on the scoring pass. All right, Ha Ha Hatchet almost had a trip up in the skates and was able to hop step over and continue on and stay on all eight. That was a very deft move by that particular skater. Now 
That will go 4-0. That will put Ithaca at 52. Queen City holds at 58. And we'll go to an official timeout. Thanks to our announcer, Ref NSO, going to center track to give us a heads up as to the purpose for the official timeout and the ultimate ruling. We'll have an update for you as soon as we get more information on that. All right, here's one of the things I'd like to say after me. You know, this is a sport that is not just players. It's not just refs. It's not just fans. It's everybody combined and all the volunteers. I mean, I want my personal shout out to all the volunteers out there. Everybody from the people that man the food booths to the medics. Every time there's a break between games, there's one lady that I see out here that gets the big dust mop out and sweeps the floor. You know, that's not a fancy job. It's not something that someone would necessarily think is important until you're the one that's on that floor and have to skate across something that's dirty, maybe get a, 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 you know, a wet spot in there from somebody's sweat where they've impacted. You know, they lose traction. They can wipe out right there. So if you're part of this whole derby scene, this derby thing, whatever you really want to call it, you know, we want to thank you because, I mean, this is a truly fully engaged sport. What did they say in the theater and the movies? There are no small roles. This is true indeed. And you may not think you're appreciated, but trust me, if you're here at any point, be it online, be it here in the venue, watching, helping, participating, thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. And along those lines, Showtime, additionally, a special thank you to all our fans who pay the ticket prices. Come on out here, listen to us ramble, watch the fast jams, the slow jams, the passive offense, the high-speed offense, because again, as much as we put all our time and effort into it, without the fans, None of this ever happens. Toe Stop <laughs> Booty Pop. Is that your derby name? You know, that's... That, that's that your be, dance team. That would be Vaughn You Dylan. were the ones that were out there... After the game or at the halftime? Well, I may have to hang out for that. I may have to hang out for that. Because I saw you out there doing some of your... I guess it was your warm-ups out there. It, it was an attention getter. That's a nice way to say it. Attention but getter. Because, but I see Blackjack coming up and mean mugging us because even though we've covered it a couple times, Showtime, we're going to make sure we cover it as well again. We've got up until halftime of Tampa Philly to put in your votes for tournament MVP jammer and tournament MVP blocker. You can head on over to the Tampa merchandise table, put in your votes on that stuff, and additionally, after party at the conclusion of tonight's festivities, level three, if you're at the host hotel, you can go ahead Buy a shuttle pass, five bucks, a measly five bucks compared to 5,000 for a DUI. Any way you do the math, it makes sense. Please don't kill me back, Jack. All right, looks like we're back on with the bout. Looks like Camaro coming in against 82. 82 is going to be, it is 82 actually. Tuesday Hula. Oh, thank you. An official review on the last for an out of play, but the review stands, or the call stands, and the bout continues. 5.58 on the clock, 58.52 on the board. And just fighting her way to the front, powering her way through number 82, Tuesday Hula, Lee Jammer, Lake Effect Fury. I think you called it exactly right. She powered her way through. Have you ever been, I've asked this before, you ever been hit by one of these skaters? I don't want to do that. That hurts you. That is pain. That, 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 was, that was owl right there. Yes, it was. Runaway pack coming around turns number one and two. At the back of Ithaca blocker three forces the call by Tuesday Hula. And we'll keep it scoreless for Ithaca. All right. Looks like 622 Librolian coming in to jam for Queen City. And who is that? That, I believe, is number 55, Gunder and Lightning for the Suffragettes of Ithaca. Oh, and now we're not going to take it as playing. Ito's just gone full, up, gone full on 80s Dee hair metal at this point. D. Snyder is going to be at the Spooky Fest or Spooky Horror Fest in uh, Orlando in October. To all up front for Ithaca, can't quite hold it. Lee Jammer, librarian, number 622, Queen City. Oh, nicely done, nicely done. Cut to the front. 
three wall at the back of the pack for Queen City, slowing down Gunter and Lightning. Finally finds the way, pack ships, goes the inside lane, completes the initial pass, but grand slam for Librolian. Gets hung up at the back, calls it, gets two more points, but no, I think that's two points for Queen City and then one point for Gunder and Lightning for Ithaca. All right, looks like a 12-point separation between the two, 53-65, with Queen City currently holding that demanding spot of being in the lead. And again, Ithaca holds two previous victories over Queen City league teams, but they've never beaten the Lake Effect Furies before, but 12 points to tie it up, 13 points for the lead. It's still anyone's bout as the bout continues here. 3.36 on the clock. It's a race for the front. Oh, and that was just a straight out race. <laughs> Coming on 0-3, Cold War takes the L. Almost looks like she did not have to touch anybody once she got around past turn number one. Alvarian sister out there trying to work some teamwork on the front. A 1-2-3-4 attack going on against number 99. Number 99... Abercrombie and Frisk just having some hard times getting through that front wall. Momoa chest to chest they go, and boom, they've cleared through. Momo go go number five, and Ithaca draws a low block penalty in the midst of that Zerg rush going into the bridge for the passive offense, and but they'll force out with a two all up front, forcing the call in turn number two. But I believe if I'm seeing our jammer correctly, it'll be four more points for Ithaca. Three or four. Uh, looks like 58-65. Uh, you know what? Call it what it is. Stand correct, I believe that's a full grand slam on that pass. Good up on her. All right, just set, ready to go. Ha ha hatchet. Got a, it's kind of a fun name to say. Ha ha hatchet out there. By number 622 for Queen City Librolian. I wonder what she does for a living. I would venture no guess, sir. <laughs> but I can tell you what she's doing right now. She's flying up, couldn't quite get around the outside. So lead jammer goes to Ha Ha Hatchet for Ithaca. That's right. Ha Ha is in the lead jam. Looks like she just cut through the pack, hoeing them down as she goes. Loose pack definition. Cuts through. How many points? Uh, one point added in for Ha Ha Hatchet. She cut through. Had a borderline between a one or two point, depending on where that fourth their fourth hand and fourth whistle came down. So. Oh, she just came in flying around turn number four. She, came, I believe, they, in the Air Force they call that coming into the tower hot. If you happen to order a turkey wrap and it hasn't been delivered yet, come to the snack bar, please. If you've ordered a turkey wrap and have not been delivered, come to the snack bar. Thank you. Play resumes for Queen City 7-Eleven Day Tripper up against 55 Gunder and Lightning for Ithaca. On the outside, Gunder and Lightning gets a lead jammer call, number 916, Miliana Kosanovich for Queen City. Can't quite get the angle for the block. Oh, nice little 360 spin. Gunder and Lightning coming out. <laughs> suicide seating. Just about committed suicide with that hit. And that's why it's 18 and up there only. <laughs> Particularly with the way these jammers are coming around turns three and four. They, they, they really are coming in hot. They just don't, they're like the honey badger at that point. You know, it's, it's one of the most exciting places to sit either for a fan or someone that's taking video because you might be sitting there and suddenly... You've got everything coming at you at about 20, 30, 40 miles an hour, and it's not stopping. Play will resume 0-3 Cold War for Ithaca up against the lead jammer. 622 Librolia in Queen City. Two all up front for the Lake Effect Fury slowing down Cold War, and Librolia will get it through. Thumb is out. Grand slam, Queen City. Oh, Cold War taking a one, two, three hit. Gets a little bit of a, looks like a push from her teammates to get her through and finally clears the pack. She was just getting pinballed off those blockers showtime. All right, I thought we were going to have a low block on that, but I guess that was not the call. She must have fallen small enough. Sadie Sadie acknowledging it, and the jam gets called. One point for Ithaca as well. That should put them around 63-64. Very brief official timeout. Apparently, our announcer, NSO ref, basically said, hey, it wasn't worth it. Just move on. Nothing more go. to see. 
Nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. Abercrombie and Fister comes through. Takes herself a big L in the sky. You know, she's getting that a lot. When she gets up there, she is, she's a very effective jammer as she comes through the pack. Well, she's also getting a, a great assistance from her blocking crew. 7-11 Day Tripper runs the block on Ha Ha Hatchet. They have to send in number five, Momolo Gogo, to clear her out, but she's still able to recycle to try and slow her down even further. Well, it's definitely a team sport. A lot of times we get focused on one skater or one group of skaters or another, but, I mean, it's the, the action, the interplay between the teams, you know, amongst the teams even, no one skater can get through without the help of the rest. I mean, if you've got, you got four or five skaters in front of you that are creating a wall, you might be tough, you might be strong, but there's five of them. And what I love what they were doing with Queen City, they ran the trap play on that pass with the scoring pass. Just basically shifting the pack, allowing that foremost suffragette blocker to go out of play to let the jammer get that fourth point score and then call it off before Ithaca could score. Great, great strategy. All right, on the back, Gunder and Lightning over against Librarian. And it looks like Librarian decides to get low, get fast, and go for the 100s and get really low on the ground. Come around fast, get through the pack, hits the big L in the sky again. Oh, rollout by Gunder and Lightning. <laughs> Call of forearm on number 54 in the black. Headhunters head goes to the box. In the meantime, Librolium will clear. She'll get thumbs out, grand slam on that pass. All right, we have cleared the century mark. Queen City Rollers 105. Ithaca 78, 23 minutes, 15 odd seconds on the clock. Two all up front for Queen City. It's number 52, the captain CUT, as well as 916, Meliana Kosanovic. And they're calling, I think, 2-2. Two, two. Librarian saying, excuse me, good sir, but I do believe I had three on right. that team timeout being called by... So I was looking, I was looking it looks like CUT. Who are you looking for? Chris's Jumbo Fries. Chris's Jumbo Fries. If your name is Chris's and you get some Jumbo Fries, come up to the announcer's booth or make yourself known. Hello. And just a clarification from our jam timer, is that for Queen City or is that for Ithaca? I believe we're getting the signal that the team timeout is for... Ithaca, because you can see it up on the... Uh, okay, we just got it up on the scoreboard. Thank you very much. Yep. I think there... The what I could see as the uh, transition was coming in there is there was a contesting, or contesting of the last point between, was it three or was it two? Because right. I, got, I saw the I got through, I got through in... Uh, a CU came into the center of the track and then, oh, no, let me get over here so, and we'll do it the right way. We'll resume action. Number 711 Day Tripper for the Lake Effect Furies up against 03 Cold War for the Suffragettes. Five second warning was given. And the whistle blows. That five seconds went by quickly. And on the outside, one black jersey to beat. Number 240, Ivana Layer out, buys enough time, saves the lead jammer call. Cam Arrow way, way out of play. Um, 50 feet is kind of sort of out of play. <laughs> As one of my announcer friends once said, hey, that's not out of play. That's half the track, and that's lead jammer, day tripper, Lake Effect Furies. In all fairness, though, there was a lot of excitement right there. It would have been easy to uh, re not realize that you were that far out. In the meantime, number 46, Christeria, just putting day tripper into utter frustration, saying, forget it, forget it, call it, I believe is what the PG friendly translation was. Yes, forget it. Nice word to use. All right, number 99, Abercrombie and Fist against Ha Ha Hatchet. The F word we can use on DNN and Justin.tv. Forget about it. All right, Ha Ha Hatchet looks like she started taking an early bit of a lead into the pack. 
Unfortunately for her, she got tied up, and <laughs> number 99, Abercrombie and Fist, decided to come through and take care of the big L in the sky. Again, that's like four times out of the last five jams she's taken the big L. Also, a quick change off early on. They had a pivot cover for Ithaca that was thrown off on the track just before the jam started to make sure, hey, we've got a pivot in the box. We can't have two pivots on the track at the same time. Otherwise, we're going to get a penalty. Absolutely, and it was a quick call off. It was nice how she slid it, tossed it out out of the way that way. Hey, no harm, no foul. Just keep on moving. You didn't see it. Nothing to see here. Move along. She's like a ninja that way. Shh, don't spoil your secret. Gunder and lightning on the track. Is that 622 again, Librolian? That would indeed be Librolian. Ovarian sister taking a nice inside line. I bought a layer out just clearing out that outside lane, just like they drew it up in practice. Flies right through for the lead jammer call. Oh, in a silence. There's no silence. There's a whistle times four at the end of that jam. All right, 82 Tuesday Hula coming in against Cold War. So we got Cold War in the white 03 skeleton pants. about to start. How ironic that we're playing courtesy of DJ Ito. There she goes again. And there Cold War goes lead jammer Suffragettes. Oh. Two all up front for the Suffragettes. <laughs> Valkyrie went airborne on that hit. Did you notice? Are we calling it the flight of the Valkyrie? I didn't say it, but hey. you did. Hop's giving a jump by Miliana Kosanovic to get back up with the four wall for Queen City as on the inside, Ivana lay her out, runs the defense, shutting down the jam for Cold War. Quick helmet changeover. Jammero goes from pivot to jammer, all in one change of her panties. Saying to the bench coach, do you have anything with a star on it? Hey, you know. She's of course up against number 99, Abercrombie and Fist for the Lake Effect series. All right, looks like 18.57 on the clock, 116.82. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk over here on that one. No problem. Three wall up front for Queen City, one block and for Ithaca trying to break it up. Not enough to recycle. Number 64 holds the pivot, holding up, buying enough time. Sixty gets trapped outside, lead jammer cam arrow, Suffragettes. Pepper Six was given some serious hard hits as he was coming around that 3-4. Unfortunately, it was not quite enough. And Sister and Ha Ha Hatchet hold the line. Finally, Abercrombie and Fist gets clear. All right, looks like 52 is getting sent out. That's going to be C-U-T, otherwise known as Q-D. Actually, the penalty is going to go on number 46, Christeria, for the Suffragettes. But with that fast pack and a lot of whistles being blown, it's kind of hard to keep track of the penalty call. Sometimes I didn't see somebody actually go into the box. Well, we've set with number 622, Librarian, up against number 55, Gunder and Lightning. Queen City and Ithaca, respectful. Door opened up on the inside. Nice walk through, no hesitation. Just kept on moving, kept on skating fast. 622 Librolian says, slide it, take it, go on down, file it under cards. High block penalty on number 55, Gunder and Lightning. It looked like it was incidental contact, but again, with that recent rule clarification, they resetted it to the previous rule that even if it's incidental or secondary contact, you make contact with an opponent's head, you're going to the box. Apex jump takes it around. <laughs> Apex number four. Misses a little bit of skate action as it goes up, over, and down. That's the way you take a point or two. Well, Psych, not going to take that same route twice. Now, which way will I go for round number three? That's going to be the question. We did have somebody on the DNN feed predicting a live brawling in the apex jump, so we hope you're happy on that one. Three wall up front. Oh, under, under and over, yes. <laughs> the Ithaca bench wanting a low block penalty. 
That was nice. She went low and stood right up. Their arms went up and around. Oh, it looks like Librarian having some problems now, getting by with a little help from her friends. Slides through, hands on the hips, calls off the jam. Yeah, no surprise, just Ithaca coming out, calling a timeout, probably looking for to convert this to an official review or official timeout. All right, Hemorrhoids trying to figure out how he's going to relay it. Looks like everybody has got their information. Whether they're happy about it or not is yet to be seen. Doesn't matter. Final call stands. Rocks and rolls. Yeah, that's confirmation. There was a question. There was a question, I believe, by Ithaca as far as the low block penalty. They believe there should have been a low block penalty with a scoring pass by Quinn City. If I understand correctly, the non-call will stand and play will resume. Score will remain on the board. Thanks to our announcer, Ref NSO, for clarifying that. Back underway, it's a power jam for number 10, Ruby Revenge, Queen City. And Ithaca Suffragist just running the bridge, holding the line. Finally, Queen City gets through number 46, Christeria call for an out of play. Ruby Revenge lead jammer. But she's, yeah, she's going to get called on a, if I see correct. Wait, 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 maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, that is clarified. Number 10, Ruby Revenge is going to the box, I believe, for a back block penalty. So power jam, Suffragettes. Three wall up front for Queen City. Number 54, Headhuntress couldn't quite hold the line, not for lack of effort. Reinitiates the scoring pass. Here comes Camaro to clear out the inside lane. Double grand slam. Perfect 10 for Gunder and Lightning. And that's the way she wants to do it. She's just trying to steadily add points on the board. Climbs it up almost to that century mark. Can she make it through twice? That'll put her up and over. Really, they're pretty much running a pick play at this point. Just trying to clear out one, clear out one blocker and get the lane open. They're sitting at a 50-point separation between the two. 14.44 on the clock. Five points added in. That closes it up. Bringing it down. 45-point separation. And credit to the Lake Effect Fury stopping Gunther and Lightning. Not even the feet moving. Looking for her hole as the pack just condenses. Almost like jello molds. Coming around the outside straightaway. Jam will get called. Two and two it looks like. I'm sorry. Three and three. Excuse me. And it looks like Ithaca sitting on one point shy of making that century mark. 144 Queen City, 99 Ithaca, 1402 on the clock. Jam sets up. Looks like Cold War going up against Librolian. Five second warning has been given. Tweet, tweet goes the whistles. Let's rock and roll. And there's your tweet tweet for 622 Librarian, a lead jammer, Queen City, once again. The captain, Thunder Vittles, the lead captain for the Suffragettes, trying to clear out that four wall up front. Librarian zips up, scoop the bop, gets clear, thumb is out, grand slam. That's right, five points at an end. Five puts them up into a 149 99 on the board. Thunderville's being sent to the box, but we're told there's no room in the inn. You have to wait for a spot to open on up. Buys enough time for Librarian to get another grand slam. Oh, nice little juking action. Swips around. Front of the pack, looking for the call of points. Score update to follow, 12.46 on the clock. Looks like Queen City 153, Ithaca 99. And is going to start this next game with only one blocker on the track. The reason is they've got a blocker with 10 seconds or less on her penalty in the box. So she's standing. The Thunder Vittles, who had the penalty, now can go to the box, sit down, along with the other blocker. So that's one of the rare situations where we'll ever actually see 
one blocker on the box, and no big surprise, 99 Abercrombie and Fitz flies through on the inside lane, lead jammer Queen City. Come down here. And if they're going to wreaking havoc on the inside, Queen City going outside. Abercrombie and Fist clears. Grand slam. I'll see what I can do. No guarantees. <laughs> Goes to re engage, but. Jam will get called. Two, possibly three points for Queen City and Abercrombie and Fist. But they're going to send her to the box, I believe, on towards the end of that jam. A back block penalty, power jam, Ithaca Suffragettes, and it'll go to number 55, Gunder and Lightning. Oh, what do we have here? On the whistles, and looks like, are we taking this into an official timeout? 11.18 on the clock, 161.99 on the board. It looks like that uh, penalty on Black Jammer has been overturned. No penalty back out on the track. It looks like, speaking of which, 6.22, that would be like Brawling coming around, takes a big L in the sky, and looks like maybe a medic to the outside on the opposite would be a good thing. Yeah, Jam will be called for injury. Elizabeth Salamder over by the Ithaca bench on the outside straightaway. All right, looks like Librarian pushing hard on the line. Jumps on through one more time, catches that big L. Like I said before, I think she really likes that right now. Meanwhile, the second jammer has cleared the pack. That's right. Camaro says, wing, there we go. Time to go fast. Time to put all eight cylinders in gear. Oh, and <laughs> I hope they caught that on video. The referees know how to fly. Then watch out for the outside ref lane. It's a doozy. And at Showtime, I couldn't help but notice on that scoring pass, Queen City sent one, two blockers in to try and neutralize number 46 for Ithaca Criteria to the outside lane. Or excuse me, yeah, 46. Perhaps trying to realize maybe that's the most blocker that they're most intimidated by to try and clear things out for the scoring pass. It might be something they're interested to watch on as the bout progresses here. All right, the whistle blows, takes a hard push, and it looks like 29, ha ha hatchet, lead jammer, suffragettes. Quick and fast, coming through the pack, I love it. All the action, 99 finally clearing up, setting herself up for a few points. She rode out that inverted hip block by Camaro all the way around turn three. Hey, you know what, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hatchet comes through, calls it. Looks like she gains four points for her efforts. I do believe that puts them at 103 points. So you have broken the century mark for Ithaca. Ithaca 103, Queen City 167, 927 on the board. Still within sight, but again, Ithaca have never defeated the Lake Effect Series. The last time those two teams met up back around July of 2011, it was a 164-64 loss in favor of Queen City. Looks like they're keeping it much closer this time. Quite so, sir, quite so. All right, Librarian comes through one more time, catches a big L in the sky. Looks like second jammer down, Gunder and Lightning took a spill in turn one, had to reset, get back up. Finally through the pack. Five points added in for Librarian for her pass. And again, courtesy of that Queen City defense holding the jammer for the suffragettes, Gunther and Lightning in slowing down that initial pass on through. Oh, nicely done. Like Rollins flips a quick 180, watches, <laughs> watches the other jammer come in and calls it off while skating backwards in the middle of the pack. Going for the style points. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you just got to have style. Well, we're set for 03 Cold War for Ithaca up against 711 Day Tripper for Queen City. Score holds at 174 103 Queen City with just under eight minutes left on the period clock. Oh, nice hop, step, and a jump sends her all the way through Cold War flying 
flying through. Day Tripper just playing tag right now on the track. Pack's trying to set up defense quickly on the fly as they come around that turn one. But the jam gets called before the jammers have a chance to engage. That's why you don't give up. Even if you're not lead jammer, you can still catch up, still force the call, keep the other team scoreless. All right, coming up the jam. Looks like number 711 Cam Arrow going up against number 99 Abercrombie and Fish. Ovarian sister taking that inside position. I'm no, starting to notice some patterns. Ovarian takes the inside a lot for her defense. Camaro going up the middle, slightly outside. We'll get the call. Lee Jammer Ithaca. And that'll be number 46, Cristeria, being sent off to the box. Now 4-3 pack advantage for Queen City as Abercrombie completes her initial pass. Now the whistle blows. What is going on? I'd like a bit of shout out to ref crew number one working today. Looks like Hemorrhoid, Shady Sadie, Chemical Assault, Bloody Couture, Pyro, Sarcasto, and Anakin Skyskater with the NSO crew, Toe Stop Gone, Trogdador the Jaminator, Monica Slaughter, Ju it is indeed, uh, Jubilee, Holly Rath, Christicuffs, Nerdcore, Organica, Diamond Tierra, Roustabout, Gale Force, and Constance Killjoy. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> <laughs> Thanks to all our NSOs, officials, and volunteers. Well, we're set. 622 Librarian up against number 55, Gunter and Lightning, Queen City and Ithaca, respectively. And number 54, Headhunters, big block on Gunter. No pass, no penalty. Librarian, not Lee Jammer. All right, 174, 107, five minutes, 40 some odd seconds on the clock. Five points added in for 622. 622 comes in and says, thank you very much. I like a Librarian five. Lead jammer, Gunder, and Lightning calls off the jam. Yeah, no surprise. He really doesn't want to let Librarian just keep running up that score, allow Queen City to get over 200. And we'll reset with number 82, Tuesday Hula, up against number 711, Cam Arrow, Queen City, and Ithaca, respectfully. Three three pack, no advantage either team. All right, it's the push, it's the fight. Who's gonna make it to the front? Oh, am I seeing a big L in the sky? That's Lee Jammer, 7-Eleven, Cam Arrow, Ithaca. And an interesting little hypothesis on the showtime. Queen City with a fairly big lead, not saying that Ithaca can't quite come back but you'll notice they're perhaps not quite pushing as hard on the initial pass to get to the front, get that lead jammer call perhaps because they want to make sure they skate clean, don't get the penalty, sending their jammer to the box, and a lot of power jam to let Ithaca get right back into this in the nick of the time to win it. That's exactly. They have a chance to use that defense now and not worry so much about offense. All they have to do is keep the distance, not add to it. You just got to skate clean for the rest of the bout. Camaro grabs a five in the sky. Grand slam. Nice plow stops in there. Oh, Camaro takes a couple of bumps. Fights a one, two, three push on the front. It's the stretch. It's the push. Camaro slides past one. Oh, she's got two more to go. Yeah, look, she moves with the arms to the outside to make sure she doesn't get the forearm or the elbow penalty. Heads up, move. And they'll call direction of the game play. They'll go on 7-11 day tripper for Queen City. Camaro will get clear. Grand slam. Five points added in. Oh, nice little, <laughs> nice little juking action. Oh, Camaro has been playing inside, outside, defends all the way through, takes another five points coming through. Vince? In the meantime, 240, I want to lay her out, try to clear up that three wall up front for Ithaca. All and right. While we, Panty Bandit, we need you over at the announcer table for uh, Albie Dam. All right, four points added in that last pass for Camaro. Nicely done. 179-131 currently on the board, 253 on the clock. Coming up on the 25th jam of the second half. That is in freaking incredible, let me tell you.
Once we reset, it'll be 03, Cold War for Ithaca and number 99, Abercrombie and Fists for Queen City. I like girls who wear Abercrombie and Fists. It almost has a ring to it. All right, Ovarian. Or Cold War, rather, doing a hard push on that. Number 99, Abercrombie and Fists trying to work it. Looks like she makes it to the front line, takes the big L as she comes around. Meanwhile, it looks like a penalty being called on a pair of double zeros. That's going to be uh, Elizabeth slammed her. And 37 Valerie Valkyrie being sent to the box for a low block penalty. 54 headhunters for Queen City. Apparently, they're giving out cookies and refreshments in the box at this jam. It has become a very popular place. All right, looks like a timeout is being called. Timeout is being called. 179, 131 on the board, 145 on the clock. One minute and 45 seconds worth of clock time left. That's one, two, probably three jams, maybe four at most before the end of this bout. Vince, this has been an incredible weekend filled with great roller derby from handling all over the East Coast. Your thoughts? Well, very glad to see that we got three good out-of-state teams from Frankie Panky with uh, Ithaca, with Queen City from Buffalo, and of course, Philly, the Liberty Bells. Both Philly and Tampa currently 2-0 and oh going into our Sunday night's main event at 6 p.m. One team goes undefeated, the other team goes home 2-1. and one. Both teams going to the Richmond, Virginia playoff site for Division I the weekend of September 13th through the 15th. Tampa playing Terminal City in the first bout and then Philly playing the Kansas City Royal Warriors in their first bout. So a nice little preview of what we can expect in about two months. And hey, we've got Derby going on. We have Derby going on. Speaking of which, looks like Ha Ha Hatchet going up against 622. Live brawling for the jam line position. Five second warning has been given. Looks like uh, maybe Day Tripper on some defense right now. Whistle blows, and they're off. And almost untucked in the outside lane. Blocker gets over the hole. Live brawling and Lee Jammer. And oh my goodness, Showtime, hold the phones. We got a star pass. Tick, 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 boom. There goes the star. Number five, Momo Agogo trying to make sure that Jammer Panty cover his honor helmet. Live brawling gets through, calls it off. You know, it's, it's kind of weird to see because when they changed it, the star was on the front. So you had that star coming straight at you. Are they setting back up on the track? Really? We have Derby? We have Derby. We love Derby. 184, 131, 148 on the clock. Don't say that too many times. You get it all mixed up. Five-second warning has been given. Looks like Gunder and Lightning going up against number 99, Abercrombie and Fists. And keep an eye on that scoreboard. If the scoreboard's correct, Ithaca has two team timeouts left. So wouldn't be surprised. Now's the time to use them to try and keep in play, make those last big pushes to try and get back in, possibly take the win. Oh, nice stretch out. Gunder and Lightning avoiding a solid hit by 240 and makes it to the front. She's not lead jammer, but she's still in a position where she can get some points. Except now when they call off the jam. To Ace Bandage monitoring us out on Derby News Network. It's okay. You're, well, you're allowed to scream at the screen. It's okay. Have a great time. Happy or not, it's a great jam to be watching. Seven Eleven Cam Arrow with a star for Ithaca up against 622 Librolian again for Queen City. Apparently, apparently when they had Librolian as a jammer, they got the uh, family size economy package with her in this one. Is that are we talking about the points that she can score? Well, the points that she can score, all the lead jam calls she's gotten all that long, and the, the bench tells her to call off. Here's the thing: the period clock counts down. Queen City with the lead. The clock is their friend, and of course, 30 seconds between jams. I'm Go looking, ahead. I'm looking, I'm looking, 193, 131. Oh, the tension is palpable here at Downtown Skate. And Librarian says, hold on, coach, I want one more shot. <laughs> one more, taking it to the bridge, let's go. It's a hard push 
She wanted one more. She got one more. Taking it home, 622 Librarian. Outside in, inside out, navigates the slalom, calls it off, we'll get the four points. And Showtime, barring a catastrophic scoring error, that's going to be the bout, and that's going to be Queen City taking the victory. But they've kept it, here's your thought, they have kept it closer than what it was before. Indeed. Looks like the score 197-131, waiting on the confirmation for final. Okay. As my colleague quite correctly points out, it is not officially a final until the head ref calls it a final. Stand by at the halftime for Toe Stop Booty Pop. You know, this was a fun bout to watch. Can I get everybody a big cheer for New York? New York, yeah! That's some New York style derby action. And we've got our officials clear from the rink floor. So Queen City's going to go ahead and take their victory lap. Congratulations to them on a solid win again. Queen City's Lake Effect Furies undefeated against the Suffragettes. All right, coming around, bringing it, give it up for the Ithaca League of Women Rollers. The Suffragettes with tonight's bout will now put the all-time series between these two leagues at two and two, tied at two apiece. The series must continue.